This is a docking station that will turn our mobile phone or tablet into a desktop PC. It has 11 ports, including a HDMI, 4K at 60Hz, SD and microSD card reader, Ethernet gigabit connection, audio output, two USB Type-A 2.0, two USB Type-A 3.0, one USB Type-C 3.0, and it charges our device up to 100 watts. And if you are watching this video on your Windows 10 or 11 computer and you still haven't activated and can't even edit your desktop icons, don't forget to check out cdksales.com where we can find budget official OEM keys at an affordable price. And with the coupon code that you can see on screen and down below on the video description, it will get even cheaper. Okay, so at this moment with Google Pixel 9 Pro and we are in desktop mode, I will leave a link down below if you don't know how to activate desktop top mode and I can minimize the screen or I can increase and play full resolution. With the Google Pixel 9 Pro we have the bar on top which is not 100% yet and what it's not 100% yet as well is my gaming capabilities. Probably I should have started with, well, 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 actually my gaming capabilities are just uh, almost great. There's one left, so let's try and let's go. Uh, there we go. There we go. So we can play games on a full screen, of course, but I believe that the most interesting part is that we have the docking station here connected to this HDMI display with HDMI cable. We know that some mobile phones we can connect directly USB Type-C to a USB Type-C display, but at this moment, using the docking station new Q, we are charging the phone and this will depend on the charger that we are using. I've got an external SSD right over here, which we can check here on the files. If I open the files, I can go here. We have the internal storage and I have also the external storage, the SSD. For example, I did assemble a Magic People yesterday and if I come here, I can visualize the footage that I have, which is really, really cool. So we can do everything that we would on the Android phone, but with a desktop, we have a lot more space. So if we want Word, Excel, PowerPoint, if we want to browse the web, I was just searching for where I live, which is Portugal. So we can customize. And of course, I've got here um, the keyboard connected as well, right over there. So Portugal, I'm gonna say, Algarve, which is my region. Let's see what we get. And there we go. So keyboard working, the mouse is working. It's a combo connected right over here. So this is my region, which is awesome. If you have ever visited Portugal, this is a really nice place to come. So we could also place here a USB thumb drive here, another one, a SD card and micro SD and use our phone like a full-fledged computer. Now, if we take a look at the Google Pixel 9 Pro desktop, it's completely blank like we start, but I did share on that particular video that we'll leave the link down below, how we can enrich the desktop so that we have all the apps here and a little bit of nice uh, display and background. So if you wanna check that out, the link will be down below. But basically we can install any app and besides actually talking about apps, let's go to the Play Store, here it is. So if I press the Play Store, we can check out apps. We can install any app that we would, like I was doing on the phone. And of course I can receive calls at the same time so I can use my phone as a full-fledged computer. This is just awesome. And instead of using cables and everything in a mess, we can use just the docking station, which is small. It's easy to place. Now I did place here on the top so that we could see better on the video, but if this was a real situation, I would probably put it here next to the keyboard. It would hide the cables and would have a NASA uh, cable management, but the experience is awesome and I don't know if I did mention probably not but if I go to the settings here and if we check the battery it is now actually this is the storage if we go to battery it is says that not charging at this moment probably because we are spending more energy it is connected to a weak power adapter that I have so this will depend on the power adapter that we have and depending on what we are doing if we are spending more energy than what we are doing so at this moment it's saying that it is charging so it will be charged by 12 15 which is a long time but 
there we go and now with a samsung with samsung dex which we have covered here on the channel and it is more targeted at desktop work and of course it's on the market at more time than google pixel desktop mode which is i believe in beta still so here we can uh, just use the apps as in a desktop I can go to settings can change whatever settings I want and if I want to go to the Play Store for example we can go and um, install any app that we want we can also use the phone to install the apps okay so we are on the Play Store and we can search for the app that we want and we can install and basically that is it like installing any other app and if we want to play games for example or if we want to browse the web we can also do so and check for the latest news in the tech world so but the latest news here on this small corner is that this particular docking station is working great with the mobile phones that are tested so far that we can use them to be a full-fledged computer with the power that these uh, devices have nowadays and now i've connected to a more powerful power adapter and we can see that the battery is charging right now it says 39 minutes until full charge because it will support up to 100 watts of power delivery now i was with a slow charger now i did connect to another one so the bottleneck here will be the phone and not the docking station which obviously will charge up to 100 watts and this phone will not go even near here, probably 15 or 18 watts of charging power but there we go we are charging it rotates in 360 degrees and it will adjust in practically any angle that we want it is made of brushed aluminium and the only areas that we don't see the aluminium is right over here where we place our phone or our tablet so that it will not scratch the surface of our phone so it's really cool to turn our mobile phone or tablet into a desktop PC like we have right over here but if we want to use it with a laptop Windows or Mac OS we can do so we don't need to have the docking station exclusively for our mobile phone so if I bring my laptop here I can just disconnect from the phone connect to my laptop and I've got everything all the peripherals connected via the docking station to my display to my keyboard mouse and so on and so forth but connected to my MacBook Pro or a Windows laptop that being said I will leave a link down below so that you can check out all the specifications of the docking station prices availability and whatnot hopefully this video was helpful hopefully you've enjoyed the video and if you did so don't forget that usual thumbs up right over there which is really appreciated on this side of the screen my name is Roberto George and as always I'll see you on the next one